Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to take some time to look into the reasons as to why we've seen such a major correction in the cryptocurrency market. Not only with Bitcoin, but in a significant number of the top 100 coins have all seen double digit losses within the last say 24 to 48 hours. And um, if we just bring up a, I'll bring up a screenshot on the video right now and you can see those losses coming through on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash especially being hit hard with a 32% loss. We've also got Monero losing 33%, Bitcoin Gold 36%. And so these are some significant losses, but were bound to happen due to the start exponential growth that we've seen in all coins over the recent weeks hitting all-time highs and I guess that was kind of an unrealistic expectation to see those continue to go at that rate so it is quite healthy to see this correction and it's nice to see that we are now finding some support uh, at the time of recording this video we can now see that Bitcoin itself has found steady ground it's now sitting at around 14,414 and Ethereum is back up to 713. So we've got some green here, as you can see down the right hand side. And I guess, um, firstly, just looking at whether or not this may be a good time to get in. And I assume based on my understanding of what I've seen previously with these corrections, because we have seen them over the lifespan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies where we'd see double digit losses, 10, 20%. And then later in a, you know two weeks from there, they'd be booming past all-time highs. So for example, myself, I'd be looking to go into IOTA. We see it's at $4. And if we just click on the coin market cap graph and look at the charts here, we can see over the last seven days. Um, so it's seen a significant drop off here. That's when the uh, correction began. But it, I could easily see this coin going back up to $5. And that's a great return if you were to invest right now at around $4. Um, so definitely something to look at and all these other coins with massive corrections on them uh, could be a good time to jump in. Uh, NEO is a bit undervalued, um, even Bitcoin itself. I'd also be looking at Litecoin, $278, that saw some um, significant drop over the time. Dash potentially as well. Um, so yeah, definitely something to think about if you are looking to get into the market. Uh, definitely look at some of these coins that have seen some significant drop offs. Do some of your own research, look at other YouTubers because I'm sure they're going to be talking about the same sort of things because this is the time to get in if you're ever going to get in. And I'll leave a uh, link in the description that allows you to, if you are a first time investor, to sign up to Coinbase and you'll get yourself $10 worth of Bitcoin free when you purchase $100 or more. So now looking into the reasons as to why uh, Bitcoin has seen these uh, latest corrections. Firstly, I'll just look at... Uh, well, the first reason would be to uh, pick a lot of the investors are selling off aggressively due to the Christmas break coming up and people not wanting to monitor the markets while they're on their break. So they're just cashing in um, and so you could expect, and this happens with stocks as well, over um, Christmas breaks, a lot of people just want to get out of the market, take their profits and um, hold on to those. And then so coming back into the new year, potentially we'll see a bit of a bull run again, that slight bull run as people look to get back into the market as they have a bit more time to monitor uh, their investments. And this Bitcoin uh, correction, which initiated this uh, sell off to all other altcoins is also um, a reason as to why you've seen not only Bitcoin, but a lot of those altcoins also suffering from this loss because Bitcoin dominance, if we just go back to um, coin market cap, is at around 44%. So it does control a significant market uh, amount of the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies. So, and also based on the research that I've done, there's no apparent catalyst for this. There's no major news around regulations coming out of China, um, issues with cryptocurrencies not working as intended, hacks happening. It's just, I guess, again, reflecting back, people looking to take profits and when you know, a, a couple of whales, and when I talk about whales, I mean people with a lot of money in the cryptocurrency market look to sell off. It can spark a, a spark, a bit of fear and un, uncertainty within others. And those who are just jumping into the cryptocurrency market are likely to follow and cash out early because they don't want to realize those losses really quickly. And that sort of sets off a train reaction. Also, I guess earlier this week, as mentioned in a, another video, um, Bitcoin's price started to plunge after one of the founders of the influential website, Bitcoin 
Bitcoin.com announced he sold his entire stake in Bitcoin. And this was to, for a number of reasons. I think firstly, it was because the transaction fees were ridiculously high and the time to transfer Bitcoin was uh, too long. So he believes that um, going into the future, Bitcoin might not be as relevant as it is currently. Um, I sort of agree with that and I've spoken about it with other in a couple of my other videos around the issues with transfer times and fees associated with Bitcoin. But I guess considering Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency to come around, um, it's going to hold that store of value and it's going to be treated probably like more of a gold asset. Um, but yeah, definitely something that has led to this um, sell off in a sense or it's acted as a factor. And I guess also finally, there's a lot of people out there in, at the moment in the media talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole being as a bubble. And as soon as you get um, those that sort of media being pushed to masses amounts of people, it definitely sits on their radar. And then as mentioned before around uh, the whales doing starting a little bit of a sell off before Christmas, that just sparks fear within people and they're likely to just dump all their coins really quickly and try and li liquidate their position within cryptocurrency. And so that, that sort of then led to that chain reaction I was talking about earlier. And so I, I think we don't have too much to worry about in the cryptocurrency market at the moment. We have seen support as mentioned before and not only that, but look into the future, um, cryptocurrency is here to stay. Uh, the blockchain technology is being adopted by a number of major institutions. It's being used by banks now through Ripple, um, we're talking about Westpac, American, Exp American Express. So there's definitely a lot of interest within the market. It's just about how, um, I guess, the major concern for me is the regulatory requirements around how governments are going to regulate cryptocurrencies. But again, and I think Charlie Lee's spoken on this, the founder of Bitcoin. It's just, it's not about um, how it will happen, it's about when. And so, like, the reality is this technology has been major, majorly um, influencing the way in which we do transfer cryptocurrency. And I guess that's been very powerful in driving the market to the price it is today. Um, so I just want to have a bit of talk. I guess it is definitely a time to look into investing if you are or wanting to reinvest uh, money that you have lying around or reinvest profits from other coins and distri uh, distribute your portfolio a bit more. Definitely something to look into. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and also leave a comment around your thoughts on the future of cryptocurrency and where we're heading.